Good day everyone, welcome back to Crown Geek. So in this video, I will be explaining that how you can update any kind of BIOS on Windows 10 and Windows 11. Now this can be your Intel, AMD or Gigabyte or whichever you're using. Now updating BIOS is very important, especially if you're doing gaming on your PC, then you may have some kind of crashing problem. And even there are many other problems that comes because of the outdated BIOS driver. So first you need to find out that which exactly motherboard you are using and what kind of BIOS version you are using. So for that you need to click on your Windows search, type system, you will be getting system information, click on it. Now here at the top you will find BIOS version date. And if you have a look here it says 3.10.2021 so of course this is an outdated BIOS version that I am using. Now if you look below, you will find the baseboard manufacturer, baseboard product name and this is very important because you need to keep a note of it as in the next step we need to download the BIOS driver. Okay, so what you can do next, you can minimize it. Now depending that what kind of motherboard you are using, I will be sharing here three websites. The first one will be for the ASUS, the second one will be for the Intel, the third one will be for the Gigabyte. Now I'm using the ASUS motherboard so I will go with this one. So what you basically you will have to do, you need to click on the search box and then you need to type your device model number. So my is ASUS Prime B550M and then somewhere in the suggestion I will be getting my model number. I will select it. Then you have to click on driver and utility. Then click on BIOS and firmware and now it will display your BIOS update. And now you can see that it says 2023-314. Of course this is the latest one and I had a very older driver on my computer. So once you come up here you have to click on download. So once it will be downloaded, it will be downloaded in a zip file. Now next what you will have to do, you need to connect your USB or pen drive that you want to make a flash BIOS update. So for that connect your USB drive. Now once connected you just need to make sure that this external pen drive or USB drive is a fat partition instead of NTFS. So you can make a right click on it then click on properties. Now here you can see it says file system fat 32 so that's okay for me. But in case if you find NTFS the next what you will have to do make a right click on it click on format now here from the drop down it should be selected to ntfs you have to choose fat32 then you have to click on start and then click on ok now once formatted you can close it again go back to the downloaded file the bios update right click on it choose extract all and now here you have to choose the location of that pen drive or usb drive so I can select that location, then you have to click on select folder and then click on extract. And once extracted, you will find that the extracted file has been moved to your external pen drive. Alright, so now we are done with this part. Next, what you will have to do, you need to start your computer in the BIOS mode. For that, I have already created a desktop shortcut that directly take me to the BIOS if you also want to create such a kind of shortcut, then I have already created a video. You can check that video. The link will be in the description. All right. Now, in order to reboot my computer in the safe mode, what I will do, I will just make a double click on it. Then I will click on yes. And then it will directly take me to the BIOS. So after doing this, you just have to wait. And once you come to the BIOS, you will see such kind of a screen in case of ASUS. I am using the ASUS motherboard. So once you come here at the right hand corner you will find the advanced option you have to click on it and now here at the top you can find the build date the bios version and you can see it's 2021 that i showed you in the beginning now next what you will have to do from the top menu option you have to click on tool and then here at the top you will find asus easy flash 3 utility so you need to click on it and once you click on the left hand side you will find the storage section and in case if it asks you storage or network, then you have to go and select storage. Then you will come to this page. 
and it will automatically show your external hard drive and on the right hand side you will find that particular file that we just downloaded and moved to the external drive so you need to select that file and once selected you will be getting a pop-up that says important notice please back up your recovery drive so you can click on next then it says easy flash do you want to read this file so click on yes again and then finally it says do you really want to update bios and it will even again give you the bios information that you're going to upgrade so again click on yes and now you can see the processing will be started now this processing may take about few minutes like four to five minutes so you will have to wait here and once updated it will give you a message that updated successfully your system will be now restarting now the next time when the computer will restart you will be getting this kind of page and now here you have to tap the f1 key from your keyboard in order to run setup so once you tap on it now again if you come to this page the bios has been successfully updated so for that we can click on the advanced option and in the main section now if you check the bios version now it's showing you 223 2023 that says that mean that your bios has now been updated now on this screen i won't recommend you that you should go and make any kind of changes now you simply need to tap on the f10 key then click on save changes and reset or exit and then finally when your computer will be booting up the bios will be successfully updated even you can click on the windows search again and type system and click system information and now if you check the bios version date here you can see it says american mega trend 2-23-2023 so now we have successfully updated our bios in the asus and similarly you can do on your pc and your laptop so hopefully guys you will find this video helpful and if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video till then take care bye bye